Hi, welcome to the Using MS Word Like a Pro course. My name is Heidi Mueller and I will be your instructor throughout the entire course. The goal of this course is to introduce you to some little known tools and tips that will take your word processing skills to the next level. What we cover here will form the foundation also of our other more in-depth word courses. In the first lesson, we will learn about two overlooked settings in Word, but without which you just cannot work effectively. So let's get started. Many Word documents have what I call hidden gremlins. These usually do not matter too much if you simply want to print the document. However, these days documents can be destined for a blog, an ebook, or a website, and then these gremlins can really mess you around. Even when you print a document, once it is printed, you'll be surprised how those gremlins jump out at you. So the two settings we're going to look at will allow you to see what is going on in your document and exactly where those gremlins are. For the purposes of this lesson, we will pretend your boss has emailed you a document and asked you to print it. If you want to work along with me, you should download the document from the exercise files called Professional Video Services 1.docs. Open the document in Word, like I have here on the screen. As we scroll down, just to get an overview, the document looks quite nice. It should print fine, probably. Mm, this page number seems a little bit high, but you know, all round, I think the document will print fine. Or will it? Are there hidden gremlins? Well, let's get to those two settings and see. The first setting is hidden behind this office button on the toolbar. Click that, then click on Word Options at the bottom. In the Word Options, we'll go to the Advanced section and scroll down till we find Show Document Content Area. Here, there, we'll check this one. Show text boundaries. Check that. Click OK. Now we have the text boundary shown by a dotted line. Don't worry, it won't print. It's just to guide you while you are working. Let's have a look at what that identifies for us. As we scroll down, here is that offending page number that is too high. Well, we can see it should really be here in the footer area, which we can now see that we have turned on the text boundaries, but it's actually in the body of the document. <laughs> Later on in this course, you'll see how that gives us endless grief as we are reformatting the document. But for now, I just want you to note that, you know, when they first introduced the ribbon in Office 2007, I hated it, but the more I use it, the more I love it. So our next button is on the ribbon. In the Home tab of the ribbon, over here, in the Paragraphs section, it is this button on the right called the Show Hide button. If you check that, it will show paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols. So check that turns orange to show that we are in the show mode, and all the symbols that are normally hidden are now showing. I know it looks like a mess, but don't worry, you get used to that, and you just won't be able to work without it. None of it prints, it just there to guide you. The dots represent spacebar. So the boss has obviously pressed the spacebar a number of times to try and line up the heading in the center of the document. Here, she has pressed the Enter key a few times. Each time you press the Enter key, you get a paragraph symbol. 
It's common for people to do that to get spacing between paragraphs, but really you should avoid it like the plague. There are many reasons why it is a problem, as we'll see later on in this course. So these are the enters. Something else you will see here is a gremlin too. Spacebar was pressed to indent these two paragraphs. But being human, we don't always press the spacebar the same number of times. So these two indents are not the same. When you print the document, believe me, this will jump out at you like a sore thumb. Let's scroll down a little bit further. Right, here we have the page number. And the boss has pressed the tab key. Each of these arrows represents a tab key having been pressed. So tab, 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 to try and get the page number in the center of the document. Another common problem. Well, now that we have turned on the two settings, show text boundaries, which we found under the office button, and this show hide all on the ribbon, we are able to see the various gremlins. As the course progresses, we will be fixing up some of them. But just for now, let's fix one, this heading. So here we'll delete all the space bars, gone, all the space is gone. And we'll click the center button on the toolbar. Now that heading is absolutely accurately in the center of the document. Well, there you have it. We've seen the two settings, text boundaries and show all. These are really important settings. In the next lesson, we will cover two very handy shortcuts in Word. How to select a block of text quickly and how to copy enormous amounts of paragraph formatting to other paragraphs. <laughs>